Alrighty, this is the Istable M stuff, rocket design at United Canberra. Code today is 447192. And yep, code accepted and to wash. Oh, what do you know? The good thing is there's no pigeons today. And fold in the mirror too. Yeah, alrighty. Hopefully the bird shit's been cleaned off the machine. Specifically by the machine, I mean actually the uh, dry sensor. I think sensor. it's working better this time. How so? The spraying thing. Because yeah, you've got one for rinsing and then you've got foam. Oh shit, yeah, this is nice and creamy. Yeah, it's definitely working better than last time. Yes. I don't think it worked this well last time. Yeah. So it looks like it's probably had a bit of preventative maintenance just recently. And let me see. Right, and a brush wash. Oh cool, you got all the dosing pumps there. So I think this machine just uses two chemicals. One which is a drying agent wax polish thing. One which is a shampoo. As a pie. Brush direction change. I guess they must have had some really bad issues here. Because there's um, two sides above the... Uh, forward back stop lights that says please keep your car within the yellow trails. I think they mean rails but I guess that's good enough. Yep so it's doing the front, is it doing the wheels, let's have a looky. Ah yeah it is, cool. non-contouring dryer. Summer, so the birds wanted to cool down. Now yeah, it's maybe. winter and it's like it's yeah. cold. Uh, let's see. I hope it doesn't get stuck behind the tow bar. Nah, it wouldn't. Not like that Rako XL that we visited at the BP. Yeah. I still haven't even used that wash docker that they gave me. Oh. I forgot about it. Because I forgot about it and now it's probably expired. expired yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's it doing now? Rinse. Huh. Guess they must have had issues with the covers constantly falling off. Because they removed it. Nah, it's because they actually bolted, the, they actually screwed the covers on. Like using screws. And this is a wax or drying agent. 
I think this is actually just a drying agent. I'll see what chemicals that this place uses after we drive out. Because I remember the first time that I came here, um, when there was no pigeons and shit, the dryer worked fine. And then after that, after one of my car wash loving friends went through, um, like he found out that the dryer didn't go up or down. So I'm thinking, ah, oh, they must have disabled it. And I'm like, oh wait, shit, yeah, they probably co got it covered with bird poo. Double spot free rinse. Nah, this is probably like a second drying agent, just a rinse, or is it probably just a rinse itself? Let's see. Okay. Yes, they cleared it off. They cleared off the bird poo. Let's turn that fan on because it's starting to get a little moist in here. Nah, no, it's just that outside. Oh. Are you sure? Yes, they cleared off the bird poo. Look how well this dryer does now. This is one of the older style is called high speed dryers. So yeah, that there is where the bird poo was, right on that sensor. And now that it's washed off. I know. Yeah, don't worry. And they put sensors on the bloody thing. It's also got a safety ring as well. That's what that ring in the center is for. So that way you don't actually have machine to vehicle contact. Look at that, it already got most of it off in one pass. I don't, you think it'll do a second pass? Of course it'll do a second pass. That's what it's designed for. Yeah, you can kind of see like the bird shat in one particular spot on the uh, conveyor, uh, on the chain up there. So that means it probably must be where the machine normally sits in it. Um, that very section of the cable must sit where the piping is. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm just going to push the mirror out a little bit so that way it can dry. really nice that they clean off the shit off the sensor now. Ah yeah, you can see that someone's been probably working on the machine with it, like a fingerprint there. I wonder if of how often this machine actually gets it's clean. Good. Yeah, they probably clean it pretty frequently, but then the birds shit all over it, like no, literally. So. What do you mean? Why not? This amount of bird poop. No, I don't think it's frequent. I mean, like, like they probably clean it like at least once every six months. Probably a little more often than that, nah, like once every three. Nah. This amount of this amount of bird poop, nah. And nah. yep, alrighty, all good to go. And let's have a looky. Ah, yeah, just four chemical pumps. Although one of them looks like it's ran out of chemical. Just park over here because I want to see what chemicals they use. And I want to eat my pie. Yeah, and I've got to eat my pie as well. I'm just gonna continue rolling this in one shot. Close enough. Yeah, they must have replaced the hose as well. Alright, uh, dirty from 101 birds and they probably use some sort of um uh like just kind of normal car wash chemical i guess so yeah one of the pumps looks like it's running dry but hmm. either way this is the istanbul m start at um united 